My boat's been out of the water for two weeks. I was doing some repairs to it, some fixes. I was letting the algae die that had grown on the bottom of the boat, and I'm finally putting it back in the water. While it was out of the water, I left my stereo fuse in, and I accidentally drained the battery, so we run into a few little problems there, but nothing we can't handle. And today's plan, I'm running out with Craig. We're running out of Tavernier Creek, and we're going to run straight offshore with the hopes of catching, hopefully some pelagic fish, a mahi, a wahoo, a tuna, whatever we might find out there. The weather ended up being a little rough, but you'll see how it goes. All right, where's that? That should be high enough to drop her in in the water. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Man, I haven't gone fishing in since my Arizona trip. It's been like two weeks since I've gone fishing. So, I am. Uh, I forgot how happy it makes me. I'm super stoked. Craig's getting the boat ready. I'm just parking the trailer real quick. And it's game on. I've been looking for my GPS for like... 20 minutes now. Can't find it anywhere. Craig's gonna be melted at the boat. I hope I find it soon. In my fishing room here. I don't know where I put it. Mm. Alright, it's on. Oh ho ho ho! All right, it's on. Yep. All right, it's got a little bit of fuel. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo. Then you might not be. All right, we're on the road. We're finally moving. There's a lobster trap in the water over there. Woo. Bay is clear. These are the days where you look for lobster spots. Yeah. Wind is no joke. Well, I say we drop the plug in and okay. and let the feathers out and it's game on. I'll do, let's move this one to here. Come on, you beast. Oh. Come on, you beast. Let go. There's a li bird down there. Oh, yeah, birds out there? Yeah, just down, go, just go on. Per Perfect. We'll, uh, we'll troll back over them. Oh, yeah, that's swimming great. <laughs> We're just doing circles. Sorry, I didn't get mine out yet. Yeah, um. I want to wait until we get established. Yeah, I'll just. You want me to do anything. Besides eating chips. There's some birds again. I don't even have a swivel on that. Yeah, if you want to just bring us to the birds, I'll get this bad boy attached here. Dude, this is the chain of hell that I, I've caught a lot of tuna on this. Perfect. All right, these two are deployed. I'll uh, just drive us around them and cool. hell yeah. I'll get this feather on. I'm thinking we should bring in the lines and go out to like 250, 300 feet. Find somewhere with no, okay. 
no uh, seaweed so we don't keep getting caught in all the seaweeds busting my balls Yeah, no weeds out here, so that's nice. Bamba, bamba. Come to daddy. The whole freaking flock. Woo! Oh boy. This little knocker rig. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm on you, yeah, yeah. Doesn't feel big, but if it's legal, it's going on the boat. <laughs> grunt, oh, it's, ah, damn it. All right. Lucky Grunt, he'll get to go back down. If he was bigger, I'd keep him. It's a grunt kind of day. Letting out some line. You can see where the reef is. You see that? It's like sand and then reef. I wonder if he took my bait because it stopped bumping. Oh no, he's down there. Ah, uh, is he on? No. If he's on, he's tiny. They're peckering at it. Oh yeah, I got one. I got something. Kind of feels not huge, but it feels all right. Yellow tail. Oh yeah. I'm on something. Kind of feels like another yellow tail. Oh, it is another yellow tail. Too bad he's too small. Right. There it goes again. Oh. It's just toying with me. Wants me to be miserable. Oh, I got it. I got him. <laughs> yes. All right, let's see who the troublemaker is. A oh, little yellow tail. Oh yeah, I'm on. Oh. Hey, this kind of feels good, whatever it is. Strawberry, yeah. A little grouper there. Thought he was bigger than than what he really is. That was a good eat. Yeah, he's kind of smaller. Yeah. Yeah. If he was bigger, he'd be dinner. Yeah. He's kind of small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Go down, buddy. There he goes. Oh yeah, I got something here. Oh, another yellow tail. Another small yellow tail. I don't know how desperate I am, but I wonder if he's 12 inches. Eh, probably right on the dot. Be free, my friend. This might be my biggest fish yet. <laughs> Still doesn't feel huge, though. 
Ah, there's a grunt. This actually might be my best fish yet. <laughs> a big, a big grunt. Dude, I, I think I might take him home actually. Just so I have something to put in the pan. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, his spine got me. Pretty, he got me good. He got revenge on me, that's for damn sure. I guess that's what happens when you try to eat something. All right, well here's your fish, dude. This might be another keeper yellowtail. Woo! That looks like that looks like a keeper. What you got there? Oh, that looks like another yellowtail. Oh! -y. I don't know what this is. Is that another rock hind? Red hind or whatever? Yeah. Another grunt. I'm about ready for this sunset ride home here. Oh, shit. Oh, what's that under the boat, dude? Is that a cobia? Yo, yo, cobia. Big cobia under the boat. Oh, no, that's... All right, that's a remora, but I... I thought I saw something else. Look, there it is. That's... That's fucking... Is that a, like... Nah, I got the remora. Okay. Got the... Is that a remora or a cobia? Actually, I'm starting to think it's a remora. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. False alarm. False alarm. You start seeing things after you go fishing all day. Sunset. Sunset time. Who showed up to the party? Crazy. There's some random packages at my door. I gotta thank whoever sent me these things here in the mail. 
I actually needed a dehooker. I've never had one before. And cooling rack, some koozies. I'm gonna use this for some cookies tonight. Woo-wee. Oh, it came with a note. Heiko, I've seen these three products used on other channels and really thought they'd be great for you too. Enjoy, bro, and keep being yourself, making great videos, a fan forever. Signed, Captain. Ooh. Time to scale some fish. Before I gun them, I'm just gonna scale them. Take a paper towel, grab it by the tail, just start from the back to the front. Really easy with these small fish. Just using a fork. That's it, one side done. Other side done. Just do the same thing. Same exact thing to the other fish. Grunt's actually a lot harder to fillet. Scales are, don't come off as easy. But it's all good. All right, now we want to remove the gills and the guts and the fins so you can just pop the little fin off just like this just cut it right off both sides oops All right, the first thing you wanna do is cut. Actually, I kinda of like to start, just cut right over the anal hole. Just cut along all the way up to the front, just like that. Then you wanna pull the gills out. Both of them. You can pretty much pull all the guts and all the gills out in one swoop. Gills, guts. Empty fish. We'll clean that guy in a second. Let's do the same thing with the grunt. Just right over the anal. Cut down. Grunts are just a lot tougher than yellowtails. Okay. Pull the gills out. Didn't all come out in one nice swoop. It's all right. There, overall the same process. Boom, two clean fish. See all that blood in there? You don't want that in there. 
get it all out. Oh. Who's calling me? Oh, they stopped calling, okay. See all that blood in there? There, now it's gone. You know what? There's a whole bunch of blue crabs down there eating my food. Or the, uh, the fish guts. You know I like blue crabs. There's one. There's a blue crab right there. There's another one. Right up there. There's one. Oh, here. There's another one down here. Yeah, nice big one right there. Look at that. That's a monster. He's probably like... Oh, there's a manatee. There's a nurse shark too down there now. See the nurse shark? Oh yeah, look at this big boy here. What's up cutie pie? Just chilling like a villain. Yeah, life, life is good, isn't it? I was just flaying my fish over there, with that tiki, and decided to pay my boat a little visit. Hey. God, you're looking good. I'll make a little steak and garlic before I cook the fish as an appetizer. Gonna fry them whole in that pan right over there. One grunt, one yellowtail snapper, and let's make some breading here. Well, that was the rest of the cornmeal. Kind of low, so I'm going to add some breadcrumbs to it also. There we go, nice and mixed up. I'll add some garlic to a little bit and some salt. Drop that sucker on in there. You know what I forgot to do? I meant to cut their tails off so they fit in the pan better. I'm gonna take them out and cut his tail off. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I also forgot to cut slits in them. Whoops. Yeah, we'll cut some slits in these guys. There we go. Put slits in, on both sides. Put them back in the bag. Give them a little more coating. And this time, everything should go smooth. One grunt, one yellowtail, ready to go. And over here, we're gonna put some vegetable oil in this wok pan, where we will fry them whole. Get it nice and piping hot. Ooh. I'm really interested to see which one of these two fish is gonna taste better. I mean, I know I say a lot of bad things about grunts, mainly because I don't want to catch them, but I pan fry them all the time and they actually taste really good. Drop him in first. Ooh. Look at him go. I just remember that captain sent me this cooling rack, so I'm gonna... I'll put the fish on the cooling rack to get this sucker set up. They're looking pretty nice and brown already. Might even be ready to flip. Oh. Yeah. They could get a little more crispy than that. Alright, I think the grunt is ready. 
We're done. I put a little paper towel under the rack. I'll leave this guy in here, the yellow tail, for another minute, maybe half a minute. Gotta say that grunt tastes excellent. Mm. Now it's looking much better. Real crispy out here and still nice and soft here. This will be perfect. Got some grunt and got some yellowtail. This power right here. So I guess now we'll I already know what the grunt tastes like. I'll have another little test. Real soft, real good. All right, some yellowtail. They both taste very different. They're both very good. Well, I've been contemplating. The grunt meat's a little softer, and the yellowtail meat's a little firmer. Maybe a little more flavorful. I think they both taste excellent, but I think the yellowtail has better texture. I guess if I had to pick one to eat for the rest of my life, the yellowtail would be the winner. But if I ever get stranded on an island, I don't care which one I get. I'll eat any of these. Mm. I'm going to finish the rest of them with some Thai sweet red chili sauce. Here we go. I should be taking out one of my fishing giveaway winners. Should be taking one of them out on a fishing trip soon. Ooh, that got a little burnt. But if you're not in the giveaway, make sure you go to SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com so you can get on the giveaway where I oops, Jesus where I give away fishing prizes and gear and a fishing trip with me. Adios amigos.